Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we have the Marble Slider widget in our hands, brought to you by the Prime Slider add-on. The Marble Slider has a minimal interface design that resembles a timeline calendar. But instead of days, your visitors will see posts. There is a featured post in the middle and the previous next thumbs show the post number normally and when hovered they reveal the featured image a bit. However, the controls let you change the number of columns from 1 to a maximum of 5. Let's select 5 columns and you'll see two more thumbs popping up along the thin timeline behind the featured post. Let's revert back to 3 column style. The height of the slider is adjustable. The more the height, the bigger the featured image gets. Next is the vertical spacing scroll bar. You may want to adjust vertical spacing along with the height setting. Then there's an alignment option that works on the content or we can say the slider title and category. With the image size option, you can change the dimension of all images on the slider at once. Then the three switchers let you show or hide the title, category, and count from the display. For instance, turn off the category and see the category disappearing from the display. Next, the query section is where you can manage the source of the slider. It can be posts, pages, or portfolios, all boils down to the interface design. You can set a limit to the number of posts to be displayed here. Then there are two filters here. The include and exclude filters let you show or hide certain posts by their name, author name, category, or others. The rest below are shorting options. The slider settings section is packed with animation controls belonging to the slider. Here, you'll find autoplay, animation speed, slides to scroll and, and more option. Remember to keep the loop switcher turned on if you want the slider to scroll on autoplay continuously. Then moving into the style tab, the first section named sliders gives you the content padding, border radius, border color, and type options. Here, the thin line through the navigation thumbs and features post is the border. So changing its color is easy from the options, and you can even change the border type to solid, dashed, or dotted. Then go into the title section. Let's just customize the title font through typography. There are color and text shadow options available for the title too. Now inside the counter section, let's change the background color as well as the counter number color. The counter sits right below the featured post image and over the borderline as the next and previous thumbs. Notice there is a separate subsection on top to change the color properties of the active counter and make it more distinguishable. Next, from the navigation section, let's change the background color of the arrows. There are more options here to customize but we are leaving them on default for now. So let's minimize the controls and enjoy the new post interface designed with the marble slider widget. That's all for this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.